Welcome to this tutorial video on how to create assignments using Microsoft Make Code and Google Classroom. In this video, we'll use the Microbit editor, but it also applies to other editors like Arcade or Adafruit or Lego. Let's get started. So here we are in a teacher account uh, in a Google Classroom, and we're going to go ahead and create a new assignment as usual. And this assignment will just be to uh, create a name tag. So just uh, the instructions will be scroll your name on the screen using your micro bit. Now, if you give these instructions, they might not know where the editor is or uh, they might just forget about the instructions. We, so we can do something a little bit better, which is creating a program that uh, has instruction in it. So if I go to uh, make code and I create a new, a new program, what I can do is, for example, I can decide to remove the, the default blocks. And if I right click in the workspace, I can add a comment. And the comment should be, you know, assignment, scroll your name on the screen. And you can definitely resize this. And, uh, and then you can tell them return attach the .x file to the assignment or attach the shared URL. OK, so let's see uh, what this means. So I've got. Uh, my instructions, I was able to change the code or maybe add some blocks and things like that. Uh, I'm going to name, uh, name name tag here. Make sure you give a name. That's going to really be helpful. So name tab assignment. Okay. Um, so the way I'm going to give this code to the students is really you have two ways to do that. The first is to use our share feature. So if you go near home, there's a share button. And you can basically store... Um, your project uh, in our cloud. Once you've done that, uh, you can copy the URL and attach it as a link to your assignment page. The link is anonymous. Um, it's an easy way to share code. Okay, so that's one way. If you don't want to use this feature, then you can also click on the Save button down here, uh, which will generate a hex file in Microbit. It will generate an image in Arcade or maybe a EF2 in some other editors. And you want to go and upload that file in, the, uh, in your assignment. So again, you're going to click Add, uh, not a link. I want to add a file, so Add File. Now, where is the file? It's actually here. It's the latest one you've downloaded. So just drag this one into the dialog and upload it. And then basically you say upload and then you're done. OK, so that creates our assignment. Then you can kind of set it up the way you want. We're just not going to do that here. And I'm going to assignment ready. So let's switch to a student view. Now I'm a student for this classroom. And I've just received some uh, classroom work. There is this name tag. Um, let's see. Actually, I don't think it refreshed. Let's refresh this classroom work and let's see if it's updated. Name tag. Yeah, scroll your name on the screen using your micro bit. Okay, now this is the link that your teacher uploaded and this is the file. So the link is relatively easier to do because the student only has to click and then it's taken into this uh, view that. It's kind of a read-only view of the, of the shared program. So you can see the content of the assignment. If he wants to, you can click on Edit. And then he's going to go and edit his own copy of the assignment. So now I can just kind of make that bigger. Scroll your name on the screen, attach a hex file, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to you know, do the assignment, drop our name here. And just like the teacher did, what we can do as a student is click Share, click Publish Project, copy the link, go back to, go back to the assignment page, 
and add a link to the assignment. So this is a flow that uses the MakeCode Cloud to store the code. And it really helps because you don't really have to remember the links. But it's perfectly fine to also, as a student, uh, use files. So for example, this is the file that we attached. So if I click on that, it's uh, Google View is going to show me this uh, dialog and there's no preview. So I'm just going to click on download. And again, the trick is the latest file you've downloaded is here. And I'm going to go back to make code here. So let's assume I'm here. And I'm just going to drag this file into the make code editor and drop it. And that will load it inside of the editor. Now, once I have that, I can do again my coding, drag the flow, drag this, and micro. I can test it. And then I can also, the same way the teacher use the file, I can save it to a file. File is going to show up here. Then I can go into my assignment. No, that's not it. Uh, assignment here and I can click and add a file and drag the latest file I've done here. Cool. Now let's go back. So we've got either we've used the URL or we've used a file, then we can turn in our turn in our assignment. So the student's done and back to the teacher. So the teacher goes to his dashboard and see that uh, one student has turned it in. And then now we're in the, in the grading section. So we open the, the grading view. And <clears throat> if you look at the URL, um, there is no preview available. However, uh, you click one link and then you'll be into the read-only view. So if you, um, if you just want to read the code, then the code is there and then you can see it. You can also run the simulator and make sure the code is doing what it has to do. You can also see the JavaScript if you want to look at how the JavaScript looks like. Um, you can also edit the code, update it, add comments, and then save it again and send it to the student. So I'm going to say, maybe add a comment here. Is that your name? All right. And I can save that again. Oh, or no, I want to I want to share it. So publish again, copy the link, and then here I can say, see my comments, and then publish that. All right. So that's uh, using the file, so the, the URL. Now, if we're using the file, we also have the issue that uh, there is no preview. So you can click on download, and the file is going to show up here. And then go back to make code and simply drag the file into your editor. And this will load the file for your student, and then you can review it. So that concludes this video where we've shown two ways to create assignments using the built-in sharing function of MakeCode or the generated files by the editor.